Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we get ready for the last regular season game of the year for our men's basketball team. And joining us is our men's head basketball coach, Mark Stricker. And Strick, a great win last night on the road, up at the track. Um, just a lot of resiliency out of our guys in the second half and clinching the Central Division and a playoff berth. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, you know, road wins are, are a big deal this time of the year. Um, and we were fortunate to go there and get that win. A lot of good teams have... Uh, went into Illinois Springfield and left with a loss. Uh, they're a really good team and they're good at home. And uh, we faced a lot of adversity. We faced some foul trouble in the first half and some things didn't really go our way. But man, just like our guys have done all year, they bounced back, they stayed on the course. And uh, we finished the game really well. I was really proud of the way we finished the game. No doubt about it. Tomorrow, we're going to have senior night. We're going to send off seven guys that have meant a whole bunch to this basketball program. And it's going to be sad to see them go. But I know we're going to get to see them play a few more times. Yeah, I hope so. Um, this senior group, is, um, they got a special place in my heart. Uh, not, not just because it's the first group of seniors I've ever had as a head coach, but just from uh, the way they've represented the university, the way personally they have accepted me and my coaching and um, these guys have, have done an unbelievable job this year of leading this team. Um, we've done some things this year that have never been done before at Maryville, and that's a huge credit to the seniors. Um, you know, we won at Miami, Ohio, which is the first time we've ever been a Division One team and best start in school history. Um, and, and there's a lot of other things that this senior group has done that's never been done before here. And, and the way they've done it, the manner in which they've done it, um, Maryville University should really be proud of these guys, the way they've represented this school, the way they fought all year. They had a chance to leave. You know, they dealt with some things last year. They had a chance to leave, but they remain loyal to this university. They remain loyal to each other, and they remain loyal to this basketball program. And, and, is, and that's a big deal. And for these seniors, I think it's one of their greatest attributes. You know, and for some of these guys, they went through a couple lean years before this year, and you hit it right on the head. They had every opportunity to move on, but they stuck the course and stood with you and the program. And that shows a lot about their character as well. Yeah, no doubt. Every one of these guys are going to be unbelievable employees. Uh, when they move on from here and um, you know someone will continue to play basketball but but loyalty is a really big thing and, and they have all shown that um, they've shown resiliency a lot of these guys have been fighting through injuries all year uh, but they kept fighting and and just their daily attitude what they brought to the to this team they've really shown our younger guys you know a workman's like attitude and how to keep keep fighting and that's something that they'll pass on and hopefully that'll continue to pass on uh, through the following years with our basketball program and a lot of people talk about culture and all that and I really don't say the word culture around our guys a whole lot but those seniors understand what it is and 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 they've really taught me a lot about coaching and the, and the thing too is this is going to be a group that's going to be remembered for setting the bar for this basketball program you know you remember the group a bunch of years back with Asa and, and Trey and those guys they set the bar this team is going to be remembered for raising that bar a little bit yeah I'd agree with you again they've done some things that have never been done here before um, and, and it's a real talented group you know I mean these seniors are extremely talented and point guards shooting guards wings forward centers it's a it's a really talented group um, but again, just the, their winning attitude, the way they've gone about business every single day, the way they've accepted our coaching and their loyalty is something that uh, is, is going to carry on through this program for years to come, I hope. Umsel, senior night, Thousand Saints night, going to be a packed house. It's a seed game in essence. It, for us, it's where, we gonna, where we're going to fall into the tournament. For Umsel, they're playing to get into the tournament, so there's going to be a lot on the line on Saturday night. Yeah, no doubt, and Umsel's a really good team. I mean, they, they uh, have some of the best road wins in our league. They're extremely well coached. They're tough. They play hard. Um, and this is a rivalry game from us. I mean, our, our game against them the first time around went down to the last shot. They haven't forgot about that. Um, they're going to come in with guns firing, and we understand that. Um, but I think it's going to be a great night. With the Kids Rock Cancer stuff going on, the amount of money being raised for that is, is, is unbelievable. Uh, I think it's just going to be a great atmosphere for college basketball. Awesome stuff, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow night at the Simon Center. Thanks, Jim.
Mark Stricker joins us once again. Thousand Saints night. Women's game starts at 5 o'clock. The men's game at 7.30. We're going to honor the seniors from the men's basketball team right around 6.50 between the two games tomorrow evening. We hope to see everybody at Simon Center. If you can't make it, we'll be on Saints Vision. We'll have the whole night streaming for you as you'll be able to see all the activities of Thousand Saints night. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.